You took me from 25 subs to 800 subs in one day and then to 1300 subs overnight. And you'd think I was extremely happy about this, which I am. However, there was this undercurrent of nervousness which is bothering me. I read every single comment that was left, all hundreds of them. And every comment I was always thinking, the next comment is going to be the racist one. It's going to be the one which kind of ruins my day and affects my mood. But that never happened. So you have to understand, I'm not one of these like liberal types. I'm not looking for racism. I'm not a feminist, none of that. In fact, I'd probably consider myself more of a conservative than anything else. And I don't even mean that in a political sense because both parties in the US kind of suck. I just mean that I always assumed I was the thick skin kind of guy and I wouldn't care about things like this. So I was on the lookout for comments, you know, calling out my accent or my appearance or something like this. And that just never happened. And by the way, guys, this is how you tell if your bread is good or not. All it should have is enriched flour, water, olive oil, sea salt, and herbs. If that's all the ingredients you have, you have a good piece of bread. That's when I realized it wasn't a fear of racism for me. It was internal self-limiting beliefs that manifested themselves as this irrational fear. Every comment I read has been overwhelmingly positive. My boys from India were just so thrilled that I was using ghee instead of oil to make my omelet. This just goes to show you that perhaps the demons are not always out there, but sometimes the demons are in here. They were for me. For the longest time I put off YouTube, I put off you know, making videos and all this because I always assumed that people would be terrible to me online. And this is such a weird topic for me to discuss because I don't have a victim mindset or anything like this. I go about my life in real life full of confidence. I don't necessarily fear exposure. So where is this coming from? So there's this book called The War of Art, written by Stephen Pressfield. And Stephen Pressfield is an author of epic war literature. And he writes this book, which is very popular among creative types and business types. And by the way, guys, you should always purchase extra virgin olive oil and ideally not blended. This is the stuff which has a lot of antioxidants and is really good for healthy fats that it contains. And in this book, The War of Art, Stephen Pressfield talks about resistance. Resistance, not just resistance to doing something, but resistance with a capital R, like a proper noun resistance. Resistance. And he talks about how for every single person who ever tries to create something, whether it be content or whether it be a business, every single person has a resistance within them which takes the shape of their worst insecurity. But the fact is this video is not even actually about racism. This video is about one man's journey through his insecurities and emerging on the other side a little bit stronger. Thanks to you, everybody who left comments encouraging me to create more content. I think I might. Now coming back to the more important thing, this amazing breakfast that I'm preparing. I have high quality bread, high quality olive oil, and and all my Middle Eastern boys out there, you know how nutritious dates are. Also, everybody has this thing against chocolate, but if you have even 70% above dark chocolate, it's actually really good for you. In fact, I prefer dark chocolate over coffee. Both of them contain caffeine, but this is combined with healthy fats. And so it kind of mollifies the effect of caffeine and doesn't make you jittery or doesn't have the caffeine crash effect. This is the good stuff. A block of chocolate. And then this right here is a egg milkshake. Crazy, right? You never think you would make an egg milkshake. It's amazing. This has two eggs, a whole bunch of milk, extremely good, extremely good nutritious breakfast. So here's your homework. Think about the thing that you have been wanting to do or wanting to try, but you haven't been able to because you've had this internal resistance within you. Write down what shape that resistance is taking and then test the assumptions. I assumed that the internet was a bad place full of bad people who would seek to insult and bring me down. This assumption was born to be false. Each of you who left a comment had nothing but praise and encouragement for me. You have helped me realize that the pursuit of one's purpose is as much an internal journey as an external one. And for that, I thank you. And of course, thank you to my editor, Jan, for editing this video. Thank you.